stonks. All jokes aside, welcome back to another video. This is Crypto Grounds, and today I'm going to bring you a very special tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a skill tree. It's going to be a very basic skill tree, but it's going to work something like this. So we're going to have some upgrades that will unlock each other. They will help cap out and they will branch off of other ones as well. So if this video is helpful and if you end up liking it, make sure you leave a like as it really helps out the videos. Subscribe if you are new around here and if you haven't already. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. So what we're going to be starting off with is creating a brand new project. So I'm using the Unity Hub um, version 3 beta, so it may look a little different for you guys, but we're just going to create a brand new project and we're going to stick with the 2D, change the name and place it in a certain location. I'm going to do that real quick and I'll see you guys when I'm done. So as of recording this video, um, I actually had to redo this entire video from scratch because I recorded it, I finished it, and apparently it didn't actually record all of it, so I don't know. So anyways, I have created the brand new project. So I have a canvas here. If you haven't created a canvas yet, make sure you go to UI and canvas. Here are my canvas settings. So I have overlay on and scale with screen size 800 by 600. I have added an image to this so I can have a dark background just because I didn't want to look at the ugly blue. And first thing we're going to do is create a skill script. So let's create an empty and skill tree. This is where our skill tree script is going to go. So I'm going to go to add components, skill tree, new script, and create an add. I'm going to move the script to the scripts folder. Just keep things neat. So I have created some of these folders already. Just a heads up. Just thought I'd let you guys know. Let's create an upgrade just so we know what we're working with first. So I'm going to go to create empty and I'm going to call this a uh, skill and I'm going to make this 200 by 100. That's good enough for me. I'm going to add an image component to it and I'm going to add in my own image and stuff and just play around with it. I think this will be okay. Just like that. All right. Inside of this skill, I'm going to create two texts. So I'm going to go to UI text text mesh pro. And if you haven't already, you want to import TMP essentials. All right, so I'm gonna adjust this real quick. I'll be right back. So the title is going to contain a level, an upgrade cap, a title, and the description. We'll obviously have the description. And eventually we're going to add our current skill points. So this will be used to actually buy the skill and what the cost is. All right, next, so we're gonna go to our skill object here. Add a component and create a brand new script just called skill. You can call it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to call it skill. Just keep it nice and simple. I am also going to add this to the scripts folder. All right. So next let's open our skill tree script. So we're going to start in our skill tree class. So I'm going to create a singleton um, before we create everything else because we're going to want to access the skill tree inside of our skill class and we're going to have many objects and I don't want to initialize skill tree for every single one of them. So a singleton will solve this issue. So you basically just create a static skill tree inside of this class and inside of the awake method, we assign it to this object. So we have, um, one second. Okay. So we have skill tree equals this. So this as in this class right here. And since this class belongs to an object inside of Unity, we are assigning this singleton to this object right here, skill tree. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we know we have some information we need to provide for the upgrades. We have our levels, caps, names, and descriptions. So let's make those arrays. Okay, so we have four arrays. We have two ints and two strings. We have our levels, caps, names, and descriptions. So next we need to create a list for our upgrades because we are going to assign them later on. You'll see how I do it and why we use lists. So list requires the system.collections.generic namespace. So make sure you include that if it's not included already. For the list, it's going to be a skill list and we're just going to call it skill list. So in order to actually assign the skills that we have in Unity to our list here, we need to grab them from a game object. And again, I'm going to show you this in a little bit. So we're going to call this um, skill holder. So this will hold all of our skills inside of Unity and we're just going to look through the object, find all the skills and then add them to our list. And last but not least, we're going to have a double field to determine how many skill points we have. This could be an int, so whatever you want. We can actually just make this an int. All right, so for our start method, we are going to assign everything. We're going to start off with 20 skill points just to um, test it. So you may have a different system on how you get skill points. It could be based on levels or something like that. That is up to you to customize. 
we're going to have six upgrades. So for our level array, we're going to create a new size six int array. So for our skill caps, names and descriptions, I'm going to customize all of those real quick. I will be right back. All right, so here is my um, perfect setup. So we have some skill caps. So the first one is gonna be capped at one. The second upgrade will be capped at five upgrades and so on. And we have our very creative names and descriptions. Upgrade one, upgrade two, booster five. Whew, you can't beat that. And then for our descriptions, we have ooh, even better. It does a thing does a really cool thing, does this math thing, does an awesome thing. Whew, you can't beat that, guys. Oh, Top-notch creativity right there. Finally, with this, we need to assign all of our skills to our list. So what we do is that we create a for each loop. And how I like to say it is for every. So for every skill in skill holder, so it's not just skill holder, but we actually need to access, we need to look for all the components inside of uh, children. So it's going to look through all the children inside of uh, skill holder, and it's going to look for anything with a skill script. Okay, so let me show you an example real quick. So we have this canvas here. Let's say this is our skill holder for now. We're going to change it, but just for an example, it's going to look through all of the children in here. So let's say we had multiple upgrades, just, just for an example, it's going to look through all of these. It's going to see which ones has a skill script. And if it does, it's going to add them to a temporary list. And then it's going to loop through all of them. And then we're going to add them to the skills list one by one. So all we got to do is skill list dot add skill. That's all we need to do. It's very simple. All right, next we want to create our skill script because we actually want to do things. So this skill is going to contain a few variables and objects. So the first one is going to be an int ID. Every skill is going to have an ID so we know which upgrade it is when we actually start managing stuff. We're going to have two text, TMP text for text much pro. Make sure to include the using TM pro namespace at the top. And this will be our title text. And I'm going to create a description text as well. Last but not least, I'm going to create an int array. And this will be used to determine um, if you saw that, if you remember the example from earlier, upgrades were connected to each other. So we had like the lines and stuff. This will be used to determine which upgrades are connected to each other. All right, so this is all we need up here. Let's create two methods. The first one is going to be an update UI. So I don't want to update everything every frame because that's inefficient. So I'm going to create a method for that. And I'm also going to create a buy method because we're going to be buying the skills. Also, I just realized this is connected upgrades. I meant to do connected skills, my bad. So for the title text, it's going to have the level slash cap and then the title. So let's do that real quick. So first let's start with title text. So title text is going to be a dollar sign for string interpolation and we're going to have our level. So we're going to be accessing the skill tree object. We're going to access the, uh, the initialized object of this skill tree right here. We're going to be accessing the names array at index ID. So this is where ID comes into play. And to make this sweet and simple, I'm just going to do alt enter and import static members. If you can't do this, um, then you can just do it manually. You just type in using static skill tree and then you can, you're good to go. All right, so we have our names. Um, first we need to show our levels. So let me actually get this going. Okay, so as you can see, we have our levels, our cap and new line, and then we have our names. So it'll look something like this. Okay, so our description text is going to have the description and then the cost. And the cost is going to display how many skill points we currently have slash the cost. So the cost is just going to be one. If you want to learn how to do a cost system and if you don't know how, then I would check out my Unity Idle Game tutorial series and check out the upgrades video as I do a bunch of stuff related to cost there. If you Next, I want to determine what color the actual button's going to be based on whether we've maxed it out or if we can afford it. So let's start with this git component image and don't forget the unity engine.ui namespace at the top. So this git component, it's trying to grab a image component from this object where the script is. And we obviously have an image here. So we do git component image and we're changing the color field. So first of all, we need, we need to check to see if this is uh, capped out or not. So if the levels is greater or equal than the caps, the level caps, then we're going to set this to yellow. So it's going to make it look golden. Otherwise, oops, otherwise 
um, if it's not max, it's going to check to see if we can afford this skill. So if our skill point is greater or equal than one or the cost, it's going to turn green. Otherwise, it'll just be white and it'll just look gray like this. All right, so that's all we need to do for this update UI method. Let's head to the buy method. So here we're going to check two things. First thing is going to be the cost. Second thing is if we've maxed it out. So let's start with the cost. So we're going to check to see if our skill points is less than the cost, which is just going to be one. If it's less than the cost, then we're going to return it. However, we also need to check um, whether if our cost is, um, if our skill points are less than the cost or if we've already maxed it out. So that's this right here. And if one of these are true, we're going to return it. Otherwise, we are going to subtract one from the skill point or just your cost and we're going to add one to our levels. All right, so we need to update this UI somehow. So let's head to our skill tree script real quick. Let's head to the bottom and create a new method called update all skill UI. And in here, we're going to create a for each loop. So for every skill in skill list, we're going to call skill dot update UI. That is all we need to do down here. And now to trigger this one, we're going to go back to our skill class, head to our by method and add skill tree dot update all skill UI. And there you go. So now every time we start the game, which we actually need to add this down here as well. Um, we need to add this down here. So every time we start the game and whenever we buy an upgrade, it's going to update all of the skills UI just so it's up to date and instead of doing this every frame. So it's very um, efficient. One last thing I forgot to do is to assign ID. So what we're going to do is create a for loop. So this is going to loop through all of the skills and we're going to do skills list at I dot ID equals I. So now we know which upgrade is which. Sweet. So we have the core fundamentals done with this. However, we're missing one thing and that is the connections. So let me set this up real quick because we need to know which upgrades are going to connect to each other. And one last thing is that we need to drag this skill object into the prefabs folder because we want to make this a prefab because if we were to make changes to this one skill, it will make changes to all of them, which could be convenient rather than doing one by one. So, and also in this prefab, we want to drag our title text and our description text. And we want to head to the skill. We want to add a button component. We want to drag down, go to the plus, drag the skill into the object slot, hit no function, skill, and then buy. All right, now let me create this layout. All right, it's a bit uneven, but it's all right, it'll do. So we have our first upgrade here. It's going to unlock these three upgrades, and then it's going to unlock these two. So this one right here will unlock these two. So just to clarify, this is upgrade zero. One, two, three, four, and five. So let's make these connections real quick. I'm going to create just an empty image and I'm just gonna make a little thin line like this. I think that's fine. And I'm going to connect these real quick. I will be right back. So the only problem with this whole system is that you have to manually create these uh, connectors. Now, you can do this automatically, but it requires lots of trig, and I really don't feel like teaching trig in this video because I want this to be just a very basic um, skill tree. I don't want to get that complex into the math, and plus, it's not it's not fun at all. Maybe in a future video, if you guys want to see that, just comment below and leave a like. Uh, okay, so we have our connectors and our skills. So I'm gonna create two empty objects, and this will be for each holder. So we're gonna have a connectors holder. And we're also going to have a skill holder. I'm going to select both of these, set the anchor to stretch and set everything to zero. I'm going to drag all of these connectors into the connector holder and all the skills into the skill holder. Now let's go to our skill tree. Let's assign our skill holder. We need to do something about our connector holder. So let's go back to our skill tree script. And I'm going to create a brand new list and a holder, except both of these are going to be game objects. So the list for the connectors will be a list of game objects, not a skill. Okay, so you can see I have a list for connectors and a connector holder. So same thing down here. I'm going to assign, I'm going to be looking for every connector inside of our connector holder. 
Now, instead of doing skill and the get components and children, we're going to be doing a rec transform. I would do just a game object. However, it doesn't work. But every connector has a rect transform on them. So this will work just fine. And when we add connector, we're going to do connector dot game object. Okay, cool. We have one more thing we need to do, and that is to mess with these connected skills. So how I like to think about it is um, upgrade zero is connected to one, two, and three. Okay, you got that with me? Zero is connected to one, two, and three. Now upgrade two is connected to four and five. Okay, that's gonna be important, okay? Inside of our script here, our skill tree class, I'm going to assign all of these connectors here to what it's connected to. So the skill list at index zero, so upgrade zero, okay, dot connected skills, we're gonna create a new int array. So zero is connected to one, two, and three, okay? Pretty simple, right? Now two is connected to four and five. Now you can customize this if you have more upgrades that you wanna connect, you mess with that. So this is how I like to look at it. So now we have these connected skills going, we need to determine if each upgrade is visible or not. So we do this inside of our skill class. So in here, we're gonna create a for each loop so it can loop through all of these connected skills. Okay, so for every connected skill in connected skills, that is this array right here, we are going to toggle the connectors and the upgrades based on whether it's unlocked or not. So for the upgrade itself, we do skill tree dot skill list at connected skill dot game object dot set active and and we pass in a bool and that is whether skill levels is greater than zero or not. And for connectors, it's exactly the same thing. The only difference is that I got rid of the dot game object because connector list is a list of game objects. So we don't really need this dot game object for this. However, we do for the skill list because um, skill is not a game object. However, the skill class has a game object if it's attached to one. So this is all we need to do in here. Let's give it a go. Before we actually do that, we need to assign our connector holder to our skill tree script. Save it and let's run it. All right, so it's good so far. We have no other upgrades except for this one. Let's buy it. There we go. Let's buy this one. There we go. So let's buy some upgrades. Let's max them out. And there you go. We have the correct colors, we have the correct connections, and everything is perfect. All right, guys, so this is my second time recording this, so I'm a bit worn out. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and if you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like as it really supports the channel and each video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new around here if you haven't subscribed already. Turn on that bell if you want to be notified for whenever I go live, upload a new video or tutorial, stuff like that. If you want to support the channel and put money in my pockets, I'm just kidding. If you want to support my channel, if you want to become a beta tester or stuff like that, check out the Patreon. Links in the description below. It has some really cool perks if you want to join. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.